morning, everyone. Hello, hello. Okay, so we're gonna start off this um, Facebook live stream. I'm calling it Anika Live. Just because we're gonna cover a bunch of different topics. But thanks so much for joining me here in my living room this morning. Good morning to you if you are uh, viewing right now. I'm trying to look at the stream on my laptop here. It's a little bit delayed on my end, so if you're saying good morning, I may not see it right away, so just so you know. But feel free, please, to say good morning, say hello uh, as you check in here with me. Uh, I'm going to be talking about a number of different topics. Um, feel free to weigh in and we'll sort of just give you a shout out here uh, along the way. Don't forget also I have a giveaway. Um, I know that the giveaways of late have not been uh, open to people outside of Canada, but we're going to change that eventually, eventually. But this one is going to be only for people in the GTA once again, unfortunately. And I think it is it will be able you know both men and women uh, should be able to use it so there's that so we'll, we'll sort of get into that as well but again good morning to you if you're just uh tuning in please say good morning say hi uh thanks for being here with me in my living room on this snowy sunday if you live in toronto you're waking up to some snow and it's gonna get even more snowy up to 15 centimeters or so you're talking about in this uh special statement that we do have um but let's just get right into things. I'm gonna be doing this every Sunday morning, 10:15, except for I guess Christmas Day. Is Christmas Sunday this year? I think so. You know, I think Christmas is on is Sunday this year, so that could be a little bit tricky. But um, I want to talk about some of the stuff that I learn through the week. I hope you had a, a great week as well. And then I'm gonna go through some of the the, the big stories, so to speak, that I liked this week. Um, Normally, because I, you know, left City 24, as you know, and now I'm doing my YouTube channel and my lifestyle blog, AnikaElliott.com, I am on a bit of a journey, self-discovery, introspection, and getting to know myself once again, because it's, it's been a little bit difficult because um, I've been doing one thing for so long and I try to mix it up, trying to be more of myself, and that is a process. So a lot of the things I typically would learn um, would be things relating to that. However, this week, it's something a little bit different in terms of what I learned this week. It's something more specific to, to me and um, sort of my family. And basically, uh, what I learned this week is that I need to make some more family connections and reconnect with family. Um, because this week, essentially, my, uh, my aunt passed away, Aunt Jenny, she lives in Trinidad. It's my dad's older sister. And I think I have a picture of her to show you. And it's so sad, I don't even have a picture of her alone. I just have a picture of her and some of my family members in Trinidad. She's the one on the far end with the glasses. Um, my Aunt Jenny, and so she passed away. And even though we were not very close, and as I mentioned, I only really met her one time. I went to Trinidad to do a project at the time I was doing my A-levels in St. Vincent and I um, went to Trinidad, I was at the UE St. Um, St. Augustine, Augustine campus and she came, she traveled like two hours, three hours to come and see me and then I went back to her place and I was able to meet some of my other cousins as well who you see in the photo but essentially I, I don't really know her and it kind of made me feel, I don't know, bad, I just wish I knew more. I don't even know if Jenny stands for Jennifer. Um, I knew she did some sort of textiles. I say all of this because I feel as though as I'm on this journey, I am peeling back the layers as to what really matters. And I think it's important for me to kind of explore further my extended family. I mean, I, I don't even know a lot of my, my cousins and so forth in Trinidad. And they are essentially a piece of me. I look at some of their, their pictures and I wonder, okay, do, does this person look like me? Oh, this person looks like my dad. Oh, wow, I can see that. And it's just a visual representation of your family. And in, in some ways, because I'm on this journey of, of, of getting to know myself again, that should play a big part of it, reconnecting with family. And I'm so grateful that I now have more time 
to be able to to do that, you know, to, to, to dedicate some time to looking closer at that. Um, I don't know if this is something you perhaps um, may have experienced in your life in some way, whether you have any advice or anything like that um, to share about anything that you may have experienced. I just want to take a little time here to say good morning to uh, Sherry Lawson. Morning to you. Is Akamola on here as well? And perhaps, I see you here saying looking forward to the chat, but good morning to you. Where's everybody from? Like, can we do a little quick check in to see where you're, you're watching this right now? Whether you're in Toronto or you're in St. Vincent or in, I don't know, Barbados, outside of GTA in the U.S., let me know. Give me an idea of who's watching right now. Uh, send me a little quick note and say good morning. Thanks so much for being here on this Sunday morning as we edge closer and closer to Christmas. Are you ready? I think I've done all my shopping. I tweeted earlier this week that I only have my dad, my brother, and my husband. Yes, husband behind the camera right now. I don't have a gift for you yet. But... We're gonna work on it. They're always the hardest. And I hate just giving a gift card. I just hate that idea of just doing that. But nonetheless, um, we will figure that out and hopefully all your holiday planning is going well. Um, let me know if you're seeing this feed properly. Can folks comment and whether, let me know if you're um, seeing this. Say good morning or let me know if the stream is okay for you because it's one way on my computer it may not be the same for, for you. So let me know about that. Um, let's go into now some of the stories that I sort of thought about this week. And uh, sometimes these stories are gonna be newsy, sometimes they're gonna be more casual, other times they will be just um, fluffy, so to speak. But these were my sort of top stories of the week. And I'd love, I'd love, love, love if moving forward, you guys could weigh in as well and provide me beforehand with some of your top stories of the week as well. That would be pretty cool. But um, let's start right now with um, something that was quite big in Canada, which I'm hoping the story went across borders as well because it was pretty big news that our finance minister, Bill Morneau, announced this week that Viola Desmond is going to be the first Canadian woman on Canadian currency on a $10 bill, of course, excluding the queen. That's why I say first Canadian woman. Uh, she's also a black woman. Uh, she passed away. She is. Uh, she was from Nova Scotia. And um, her big thing is that she was, she, she greatly moved forward and played a key role in eliminating some of the province's segregation laws. And yes, Many people learning about her for the first time, even a lot of Canadians who didn't really know what she was about. A lot of people referred to her as the Rosa Parks of Canada, when in actuality, what she did, which is essentially refuse to leave the whites only section of a theater in Nova Scotia, that happened nine years before the events that took place that led up to Rosa Parks and the, the bus in, in um, Alabama, I believe it is. Um, so in a sense, Rosa Parks is, is more like Viola Desmond, you know? So she said she wasn't gonna leave, ended up getting arrested. And it's so interested, interesting that Canadians, a lot of people didn't even know who Viola Desmond was. What do you guys think about this? The fact that she's gonna be now on a $10 bill. Um, I think it's, it's kind of major news. Weigh in, let me know what you think about that. If you had any thoughts, whether it shouldn't be a big deal that a woman is um, on the bill or a black woman. Let me know. I'd love to see some of your thoughts there as well. So that was pretty big news for me. And I know a lot of people, sp particularly um, black women or women in general, were quite moved by that as well. So that is an awesome step forward. I don't exactly know when that is going to take place, like when it's going to uh, actually happen, but stay tuned for that for sure. Um, something else now I want to talk about that we've been seeing um, a lot in the news recently, President-elect Donald Trump and the whole idea that he is going to be um, staying on as an executive producer for Celebrity Apprentice. Yes, there have been other headlines since then, but this is something that continues to be rehashed over and over again because of the fact that um, it's... 
just more questions about his conflict of interest, you know? Um, people would say that, hey, nobody said anything when we would see uh, George W. out hunting or, or Barack Obama playing golf and so forth, but I think the big issue is the fact that he's gonna be making money from this. I know he has declined from taking uh, a paycheck from the salary as a, of a president. However, it is much more than what he would be making. And then just lots of questions about the advertising that would be on that show, um, the fact that it's on NBC, what does that mean in terms of him being so closely connected to a broadcast network? He has come out and said that he's not going to be spending any time. He said he's spending zero time on a celebrity apprentice, but is going to continue to have ties to that. What do you think about that? What are your thoughts in regard to that? Um, it's interesting to me. My thing is what this means for potential conflict of interest move down the line. I know that other presidents have made money, um, like, you know, President Obama, he's made money from his books, for example, and so forth. So I know that is not unprecedented, but it'll be interesting to see how that rolls out. I'm interested to see your comments as well. Another story that um, I saw this week, and there have been so many of them. Actually, no. Did I want to talk about, while we're talking about the president, to mention that the Obamas um, put out their last holiday Christmas card. And they put that out, and there was a lot of everybody, at least a lot of people on my timeline, saying, hashtag don't leave. Look at this photo. This was taken, I guess, at the last uh, White House dinner. I forget. Is this the one where, um, where Trudeau came over? Could be. I think so, because this was the first one, I believe, that the girls, Marie and Sasha, were able to attend. Um, and so that was quite a big deal. And they looked absolutely beautiful. Um, this picture represents so many things for so many people when it comes to hope and inspiration. And it's like, just really, really cool. So I just wanted to put that up there. A lot of people are talking about it right now. Um, another thing that I want to mention that we heard a lot about this week. Well, well, me, I did. I'm kind of looking at different trends. Um, you know who Kiki Palmer is? Kiki Palmer is that uh, the girl. She was in Aquila and the Spelling Bee. She's now on Scream Queens right now. She put out on her social media a picture of Kylie Jenner. So she put a picture of Kylie Jenner, and it may have been the picture that you've seen before. There was uh, Kylie from 2012, I believe, and Kylie from now. Um, and she was basically calling out society saying you have created this you forced her to to change because when she was younger people called her ugly and said she didn't look the way she's supposed to look um and she just did this whole sort of psa this rant about how we criticized her in 2012 and now criticizing her in 2016 what do you want what do you want like you have created this for lack of a better word beast um and she goes on to just talk about social media and all that kind of stuff. Some people are saying, hey, you're kind of being a bully as well, calling us out and, and putting all the blame on the society when we all know that the Kardashians, um, the family in itself, <sighs> probably have led to her decisions to change her and transform her look in, in, in whatever way. And perhaps they themselves, the family, have, have played a role in that also. Um, but I just thought it was cool. She's always spoken out about different things, whether it's, um, you know, uh, stuff to do with race or even mental health and so forth. So I, I applaud her for taking that time and actually speaking out. But I wonder whether if the shoe were on the other foot, whether Kylie Jenner would have taken the time out to do a PSA about Kiki Palmer or if anything was happening with Kiki, whether she would stand up for her. I don't know. I don't think she would. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. But um, I thought that was interesting. And it continues it, it, it continues to be something that I'm mindful of. Because I'm somebody that uses social media. And I'm aware that people are only posting their highlight reels. That's why it's important to me to show up like this. To just <laughs> roll out of bed with no makeup, no hair done. And come and talk to you. Because I know that my Instagram feed and so forth... There are pictures with me in full makeup and full hair and all that kind of stuff. And that's not necessarily realistic. So I try to have a good balance of both. 
obviously because I worked in television, some of my pictures are going to be that way. But but you know, it's 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 important balance, definitely. Good morning, good morning to you, Wayne. Hello, hello, good morning. Um, we're still moving along here, and I'm trying not to keep these. I'm trying not to have these Anika lives go too too long. Just because I know people are busy on Sunday, maybe you're getting ready to go to brunch or you got to go to all the various holiday stuff, church maybe. So I'm trying not to keep them too long. But I wanted to tell you about um, a giveaway that I am going to do, hopefully do for all these Anika lives. So if you have any suggestions, if you're a business owner out there and you wanted to promote something, I'm very big on um, things that are Canadian I'm very big on, on female entrepreneurs, on products that are, are natural, like vegan products, products that are sustainable, those kinds of things. So feel free to hit me up in any way, shape, or form. But the giveaway uh, this week is coming from Body Blitz Facial Bar. Now, you may recognize that name because they do the Body Blitz Spa in uh, Toronto. Uh, for those of you who don't know them, uh, check them out. The website there is, um, what is it again? I'm putting it up here. <laughs> I think it's Blitzfacialbar.com. Blitzfacialbar.com. Thank you, Victor. And so basically they have three different locations in Toronto. And it is uh, a really awesome concept, the Blitz Facial Bar. They offer 30-minute light and laser facials. And it's non-invasive. It's a, a, a procedure to sort of get a short-term glow for long-term radiance and this whole thing was created in 2015 by two sisters again love to see women doing great things they themselves are the co-founders of body blitz spa in toronto so uh, they really are um, pushing incorporating beauty through health and so i really really like that so what we have for you um, i wanted to mention that they have three different locations so they have a location in Leslieville, Roncesvalles, and a new location as well coming to Toronto, the PAP system of the Thompson Building. So just so you know, that's uh, there as well. So this is the giveaway for you. Girls would like this, but hey, guys would use it as well. If you want this as a gift maybe for holidays, this is something. They also create very high-end um, products with natural ingredients. This particular one that I'm giving away is their Vitamin C Day Repair Mo Moisturizer. It's worth $80. It's a gentle moisturizer. They got lots of antioxidants and so forth. Um, and it's one of their best sellers, they tell me. So this is up for grabs. All I want from you, and I don't know if we have anybody here who's even... If all I want from you, where is the newest location? I said they have three locations in Toronto. Roncesvalles, Leslieville, and a new one in the beep. A new one in the beep. Let me know where that is if you're the first one but the thing is it's only as i mentioned open to people in the gta and i know we have some folks on here who are not from canada but don't worry i got you for the next one i got you good morning to dave and hi bettina good morning good morning woodbridge oshawa in the house if you can let me know comment where that third new location is for the body blitz facial facial spa where did I say it was it's in the mm, it's underground in Toronto it's called the, the something with the P so let me know okay as soon as you know just chime in I'm it's, it's delayed on this thing so you probably chime in and all now and I haven't seen it but let me know okay so it's um oh see thanks Dave that's what I was asking earlier what how is the feed for you because I've been wondering well, how it's been going because it says the feed is giving is um, getting interrupted a little bit. So thanks for letting me know that, Dave. I will definitely keep an eye on that. See, for me now it says it's been interrupted. But don't worry, we're almost done. We're almost done. Thank you for, for letting me know here. Yeah, Sherry says it keeps cutting out. Good to know. So we're trying this new option here that allows me to have two different, uh, a couple other angles. So maybe that's slowing down the process as well. But this is only the second one, so it's, um, it's good to know these things. But again, if you want to get details about this giveaway that is courtesy of Body Blitz Facial Spa, uh, what we're giving away this vitamin C cream, all you have to do is let me know where the, um, 
what you call it, where the third location, the newest location is, and I will reach out to you, get your email information, and send that out to you. Good morning to you, Jim. Thank you so much for your comments. Appreciate that. So what's going on with me for the next little while? A few things I need you guys to look out for. You may have noticed that I have a current holiday guide and giveaway underway right now. It's called Anika's 10 Nights of Holiday Delights. And um, it's basically uh, 10 nights of giveaway. So I'm featuring a bunch of products. And as I mentioned to you before, there are products that um, mean a lot to me, whether it is uh, from a female entrepreneur or it's a natural product or something or something that helps me as somebody who is in a in career transition. Yes, a lot of them are for women, but I'm hoping that you can gift the items to a woman in your life. Because I've had some guys say, what about a guy? What about us? But it's coming. I'm going to also put out a few other um, gifts that y you will like and, and men will be able to take advantage of as well. But my holiday gift guide, that is returning on Monday. We took a break from the nights on Saturday and Sunday. So look out for it on Monday. I've made it very, very easy for people to win something. I'm not making you draw anything or copy and paste something on your page or whatever. It's not about that. All you got to do is actually answer a quick question like I've been asking people about when they first pierced their ears and getting some really awesome, um, really awesome, what you call it, comments on the, on the blog as well. So thanks so much for that. And um, look out for that for me. Also, check out stepstonesforyouth.com. I'm going to be doing some gift wrapping, I think, at the TD Center. I haven't nailed down the date yet. But it is all for a great cause. Stepstones for Youth is a charity that I've supported for a long time. And they help young people in transition, whether they were homeless and now trying to get into the job force or whatever, providing support for these young people. And so all the money goes toward that. Um, check out this website. I'm going to put some stuff out on my socials as well. If you're looking to do some volunteering for the holiday season, consider them, please. But um, I want to thank you so much for, for being here with us today. I know the reception has not been that great in terms of the video speed. It keeps getting interrupted. So thanks for sticking with me. And um, we'll continue to work on this. We've already made some great improvements compared to last week. But um, again, thanks for watching. You can find me on AnikaElliott.com. If you haven't already, please join my Facebook page here by clicking, I believe, like. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, it's youtube.com slash Anika Elliott. But um, I'm still out here. I'm still sort of doing my thing. Keep an eye out for me. I've got lots more stuff coming. Thanks so much to uh, all of you. And um, I'll keep an eye on the feed here to see if anybody else gives me the answer for the giveaway because I know people will continue to watch it.